All right, let's do this. The Santa Blanca Cocaine Superhighway. Every year, more than 350 tons of coke leaves Bolivia, reaching about 20 million users worldwide. That means they're pulling in an average of $2 billion a week. How do they do it? Three little words. Air, land, sea. All coordinated by the head of smuggling, Nidia Flores. La Reina de Belleza. The beauty queen and her right-hand man, the ravishing, the bewitching, the delectable, El Boquita. Ouch. Somebody get that guy a band-aid. The problem is, you see these guys on the news, you see decapitations, you see monsters, but you don't see the whole picture. These people are fucking geniuses. Case in point, you see tits, Nydia Flores sees opportunity. You see scrap metal, Nydia Flores sees submarines. You see holy water, Nydia Flores sees liquid cocaine. Because Nydia Flores is a fucking genius. You really want to shut down the cocaine superhighway? Hit the drugs, hit the money, then hit the beauty queen. What's up guys, d here, and I'm almost done with Ghost Recon Wildlands, so right now we're going to knock out all the smuggling. So let's go after El Boquita. We've got intel on a convoy of trucks loaded with cash heading to cartel bosses in Mexico. El Boquita is believed to be leading the convoy. Intercept the trucks and destroy them, and if possible, take out Boquita as well. Huh, okay, so how should I do this? I should have came in with like an attack helicopter. Is that what is that? That's a gun, machine gun one. I don't know about those. Those those kind of suck. You get killed quick in those things. It's not like the rocket one. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Is that him right there? Can I? Oh, talk to with the informant. Oh, okay. I thought that was him. I was just gonna snipe him. Let's go talk to this informant. I want to say real quick shout out to uh, one of my subscribers, Michael. He, uh, he let me know that there's a 50 clip magazine for the TAR-21. I had no idea. Let's hear what he's got to say. So thanks a lot, Mike. Bowman says you've got something for me. It's going to cost double this time. Take it up with her. Tell me what you've got, and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, it's like this. El Boquita's jammed up, and he's got to get a shitload of money up to the bosses in Mexico. So he's running a big convoy up there tonight. How big? A couple of armored trucks for the cash, maybe half a dozen armored cars, maybe even a couple of helicopters. Serious shit. Where's the convoy? I don't know. El Boquita's being cautious as fuck. Only he and the drivers know the route. That's not good enough. I need a location. How about this? I know where you can find El Boquita. He's here in Kiwani to make sure the convoy gets through. You follow him, he'll take you straight to the money. All right, let's go follow El Boquita. All right, let's find El Boquita. Not a gunshot till we have the money in sight. I'm not sure what Boquita means. I know Bonita means beautiful, so I, I don't know if that's close or what. I got to really brush up on my Spanish. All right, let's go head out. All right, we made it, guys. And like I said before, those other helicopters are really weak. <laughs> I get shot down just coming over the hill. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully, is try to get his, get him to come out. But I guess we gotta follow him. And like I said before, I hate being uh, following missions because you always get detected. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the boom, and we've got eyes on El Boquita. We'll tail him to the money. Roger that. We've got a tap on his cell phone. If he makes a call, says anything about the money or the convoy's route, you'll be able to listen in. I got it. I'll fly. Anything you want when I get home. A 
He sounds like he's saying goodbye for the last time. Maybe he knows what's going to happen. Alright guys, we made it. We found him. Oh, we didn't find him. We followed him. So just destroy it? I could probably pop it from right here then. Okay, it says destroy the money truck and kill him. I already destroyed the money truck. Oh, 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 who's shooting at me? Oh, it's on, look. This guy's shooting up from all over the place. Oh, seriously? Come on. That's weak. Dad is sticking their nose in this asshole. Oh, damn, Uni Dad. No, not now. Put a call to the rebels for some reinforcements. I don't know where, where everybody's at. Look, there's another guy way over there. Let me shoot that over here. Man down. Yo, man down. We'll pick him up. I was watching uh, Avengers the other night, Age of Ultron. <laughs> Captain America's like, if you die, shake it off. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn, okay. All right, looks like we're good. Maybe not. Let me get in it. Did I call for backup? I did. Where are they at? Damn it. I probably should do some recon before I start running in there all like a fool. Anytime today, guys. Look at three of them standing right next to me. Come on, scrubs. Let me see if I can do a little quick recon. See who I'm shooting at. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Nothing? Nobody's here? Who are you shooting at? Kill confirmed. Alright, comes another car. Oh, he's just driving by. Come on, regroup on me. Oh, I almost shot that kid. Oh, damn, there's a bunch of women and children in there. Alright. Well, we have to go in there, so let's handle it. I kind of feel bad now. He's all talking to this little girl. We're going to go smoke him right now. Where's the... How do I get upstairs? Alright, here we go. Elbow Kita is KIA. Outstanding. 
The beauty queen is royally fucked. We'll see if she makes a run for it or tries to beg Sueño's forgiveness. Either way, she's gonna expose herself. And when she does, we go get her. Damn, smoke them. Oh, let's see what this is. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Lydia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, babe. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. Oh, that's some cold blooded shit right there. Nomad, I've just got word. Thanks to us, the Beauty Queen smuggling operation is such a clusterfuck that she's a dead girl walking. Sueño sent a hit team to kill Nidia and her daughter Valeria. We got a location on the Beauty Queen? She told up at her hacienda with her daughter. We got this chick right where we want her. Get her and Valeria out of danger. She'll give us everything she knows. We're on our way. Nomad out. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead after Nidia Flores then. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start Nidia Flores. We caused so much damage to Nidia Flores' network that El Sueño decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter before the Sicarios get to them. So I was flying around trying to figure out if I could just land or if she's going to have guys there. I mean, it only makes sense that she would have her own men ready. But, yeah, see, there's people spotting me, but... I'm not sure what's going on yet. Deploying drone. I asked the rebels to recon the area. Shit. Swinio's people are hitting the hacienda now. Let's move. Okay. Who's shooting? Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Man, there's a lot of people here, and I don't know who's on who. Who's high? Let's just maybe I can get in and get out. Let's see. Oh, oh, damn. Another one of my guys. Look, my guys are stuck on the roof now. Where's that guy? At? He's like in the in the street in the mountains or something. Come on, dude. Is that, or is that guy inside? Oh, he's getting picked up by somebody else. <sighs> Took you long enough. I got eyes on Nidia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Winenla! Let's get back on mission. Hold it there. Like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You don't swing you better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are Ah, oh, damn it. I'm not giving up El Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. I was hoping they'd break that window. <laughs> He's all nice and gentle with her. He doesn't slam her face into the door. Where's the little girl at? Do I grab her too? Oh, she's getting in. Get in. Go. There you go. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. I got it. I'll fly. What are you guys doing downstairs? Let's go. Hustle. Ah, uh, you know what, dude? You, you deal with that madness. I'm out of here. This is all a mistake. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrones who turned El Sueño against me in the first place. Our 
life was good before you came along. Your life was a permanent fast forward and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. After you destroyed all of it. My life's work, everything I had. Well, not everything. The jefe is a very big hombre, like uh, a monster truck. I heard he's very tall. You don't like El Jefe. I, I don't like him either. Mija, stop talking. Close your mouth. You don't like El Jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No, I don't like him because he has no hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having hair. Maybe he can't help it. Stop talking to her. <laughs> They're stupid. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Karenia. Whatever happens, just remember that Mama loves you. Okay, Mama. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? How's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. My mom's smoking next to that little kid. What the hell? <laughs> uh, oh, there he is. There it is. Oh, let's see, what's, let's see what the video has to say. My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained lay there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything. And she paid me back by running like a coward. Instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces. Wow, wow, that's, that's really interesting. I mean, everything's falling apart for him. I mean, we only got, I think, one, uh, one section to go, and that's production. And that's that's probably going to be like maybe two more videos and then maybe I'll do one video for El Sueño I don't know we'll see uh, like always I want to say thank you guys for watching you guys know what to do comment rate subscribe catch you on the flip side adios